Hi guys, this is JS and Remote Sensing Basic YouTube channel. If you are watching this channel, please subscribe it for further videos. In this video, we go to see how to calculate the land surface temperature using mono window algorithm. See, this land surface temperature calculation is contained uh, three steps. Okay. Uh, this one is the first step conversion of dn values to spectral radians and this is the formula of the uh, conversion of dn values to spectral radians r maximum minus r minimum uh, the, uh, this formula and these values are available <coughs> in the metadata of satellite imagery for this i am going to use the uh, land uh, landsat imagery so Landsat imagery metadata is contained in this formula. Here you see the dn values is a band. The Landsat 8 thermal band is band 10. So using the 10th band, I am going to calculate the land surface temperature. These values are available in the metadata. Okay. After so converting spectral radiance, this is the second step. Conversion of spectral radiance to temperature Kelvin. Sorry. Yeah, uh, this is not a spatial radiance, this is spectral radiance. Okay. I change this. Conversion of spectral radiance to temperature Kelvin. Okay, this is the formula for this. And uh, see the K1 and K2 values are uh, constant values for Landsat 8 and uh, Landsat 4 to 7. Here the K1, K2 values are available for uh, different sensors. This one is constant. And this is not only for 5, this is 4 to 7. Okay. After converting the spectral radiance to temperature Kelvin, this is the conversion formula for uh, Kelvin to degree Celsius. This is the last step. This is normal uh, Kelvin minus 273. 0.13 this is normal formula using these three steps we can calculate the land surface temperature now i will show the metadata of landsat file wait a minute see this is the landsat uh, 8 file see here the mtl file is there this one is the metadata here you can find the all values See the values are available within the metadata for all bands. We can uh, we use only the tenth band values. Okay. Now I open the NV software for uh, calculating the land surface temperature uh, using Landsat tenth band. Now I open the image file, the 10th band of Landsat 8. It is open here. I open it in a new window. See, this is the tenth band image tree. Okay, for LST calculation, we use the band math option in basic tool option. Here you type the formula. This one uh, formula values, not a formula. R maximum, R minimum values. I have already typed and saved it so I now I restore it see this is the three steps see this one is the first step and this one is the second and this one is the three uh, here you see the first two uh, these values are r maximum minus r minimum values. 
is and this is the q cal minus q cal minimum values after the this minus there and b1 is the satellite imagery 10th band and q cal minimum values just i type the values okay now i select the first step and give the okay b1 is undefined so i'll select the b1 for uh, band i just give the memory for temporary savings the first uh, mistake is over i loaded in the new window now you go to the same option band band and select the second step see this is the second step you can check the formula also k2 a log k1 divided by l lambda the same one and this l lambda is a previous step uh, output see the l lambda previous one output okay now i run the second step Second step B1 is the first step output. I select the memory for temporary saving. Second step is run successfully. Now we go for third one. This is a simple step. Kelvin minus two seventy three point one three. So again I go to the bandwidth option and select the third one. Here you select the second memory output. See, it is run successfully. The LST is over. Now I open this in a new window. See, this is the surface temperature. And show the cursor location value. See the data file. The data file is a degree Celsius value, temperature value. 39 and showing one area it's changed every area okay now we save this in a tip and geotip format for opening in rgs memory 3 is the final output i change the location for saving saved now i close this and open the saved file in rgs see this here see it is opened in a different format go and go to the properties and change the color for better view here you see the lowest uh, temperature values are uh, 17 the highest is showing 100 but it is not correct the uh, 100 showing area is out of the steady area, out of the scene. Okay. For uh, again the better view, I will change the classification into the 10 classes. Wait a minute. is out of the city area out of the scene uh, that's what you may see now I will reclass it into the 10 classes for the better understanding see now 
slip crossing. Okay, thank you for watching. Subscribe and share for new videos. Thank you.